I'm in a place where it don't get no funk here. I'm on the road with George Clinton, Parliament Funkadelic. What you're gonna witness is some uncut, it's raw talk. I'm sitting across right now from Gary Scheider. Shy. What's up, man? Oh, what's up, cat? Nah, man, we just, are you ready for the show tonight? Well, man, you know I'm ready as I always can be. You know, my throat a little weak tonight. Uh, but, you know, I got to go out there and do a little something, something. I don't know what's going to go down tonight, you know. We was getting off last night. Oh, you talking about in Nashville? Yeah, Nashville was pretty tight. Yeah, the whole, you were there? Yeah, that was my first, <laughs> my first drop in. Well, you know, Ron, you, you you subject to take a vacation whenever you get ready. I never really understood that, but I'm trying to. I'm still trying to figure it out myself. Well, but I guess that's what makes you so great, Ron. That's that. That's what makes you fit in, you know, because you're never fired in the group. You know what I'm saying? And 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 with that kind of concept, this that that's what make a whole lot of us. Tell me, what happened with Eric? Where's he at? When is he coming? I just did an interview with Eric McFadden um, uh, last week. It should be going up in about two weeks or so. And uh, we do this show as well together where we do the show called What's, What's Your Reality? And But anyway, we did a show, uh, an interview with him, and he talks about a few of his albums and the stuff that he's done with Parliament and Funkadelic and ourselves, you know. So... Well, Eric McFadden, he's a very bad man, man. You know, you should know, you and him, y'all still got that group, what is it called, Ism? Uh, we, we've yet to do some stuff with Ism right now, but uh, let's talk about you. Oh, Lord, I don't even know what to say about me, because, you know, I don't even know me sometimes. All I know is that I still wear a diaper, got love babies and fools, so I must be safe. Actually, well, I got a show coming up uh, May the 13th in uh, Baltimore at the Fifth Reunion Armory, you know, with my group called the First Family of Funk. What I'm going to use this trip is I'm going to use Cherokee that used to play for the Brides. I'm going to use Benny's son on drums, Benny's son's horns. I'm going to go get Gary Hudge that used to play for the Brides, the keyboard player, Uh, and a couple of, you know, people out of D.C., my son, my wife. You know, uh, uh, you do if you be in town. <laughs> Tell us when when did you when did you hook up with Parliament Funkadelic? When did you become a part of that whole scene? Well, see, I always told my mother and them I was a Parliament Funkadelic back in the sixties when I was a baby. But I actually got with the group uh, I say in nineteen seventy one, probably something like that, because uh, George was producing this group me and Boogie was in called U.S. Yeah. And uh, he sent us up to Canada, you know, to get us away from the drugs and stuff. And um, we went up there and toured. We cut an album, you know. George produced it, him and Bernie. Uh, And then um, when it came time to do America Eats His Young album, that's when George called me and Boogie, you know. So we did that whole album. And from there, we never left. No, seriously, we were sitting at home one day, and I looked out the window. Me and Bug were sitting in there just playing around on the uh, guitars, and I saw this big blue Cadillac pull up, Fleetwood. I said, who the heck is that? And it was Calvin Simon. He said, uh, George, I'm here to pick y'all up. I said, pick us up to go where? Oh, he didn't call you? I said, no. He said, oh, no, no, no. Y'all going on the road with us now. And ever since then, I've been in the group. So I say I've been in the group over 30 years. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we used to wear, like, costumes. I used to wear satin pants and sh- stuff like that. And one day I tore my pants in, uh, I think it was St. Louis at Mid-Sun Theater. Right. And uh, I said, oh, Lord, what am I do now? Joe said, go on in there and get you a towel and wrap it around your ass like it's a diaper. <laughs> and it worked. And every since been doing it ever since. Every, I can't change, man. I can't change. You wear it well, though. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And Gary is uh, extra extraordinary, as you all know. Funky man, guitar player, and singer, writer. Tell us about some of the songs. Oh, 
Oh, Lord, Atomic Dog, One Nation, uh, Do That Stuff, Bop Gun, uh, and the list go on and on and on and on and on and on. It's a gang. Yeah, I know it. You know, I mean, there's so many. Uh, I think my catalog, the last time I checked, was over 200, over 300 songs, you know. So, uh, and I did stuff with, like, uh, Tony Terry, the Boogie Boys, Black Crows, uh... DJ Quick. This is the man that wears a diaper, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and uh, uh, what we did, we had something on Snoop. I had the Kirk Franklin song, Stomp. Uh, it just goes on and on and on and on. I mean, it surprises me. I turn on the radio and hear my stuff a lot. Like uh, De La Soul, me, myself, and I. You know, that's the first time I heard, I guess this was when they were sampling or whatever, and I heard my voice on, from Knee Deep. So... I was like, oh, Lord, that's me. How do you feel about the funk today? The funk is forever going, man. Yeah, funk ain't gonna never die, man. You know, and I'm not going nowhere. I'm in Funkadelic, I'm in Parliament, I'm in Brides. Whoever got a group going on at the time, I'm in that group. So are you working on your new record? Yes, 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 yes. I'm going to call the name of the album going to be, the name of the CD actually. It's gonna be called Mr. Stinky. But Lita Woods came up with that. <laughs> you know, she kept saying it. And, and I, I went home one day, I said, started thinking about that. I said, why she keep saying that? That wouldn't have nothing to do with that, to do with that diaper, would it? Well, they're probably so in the smell. See, I'm trying to get this new cologne. It's called Skunk Funk. You know, however you smell today, that's what's happening. You know, um, I got uh, artists on there, I mean, People that have done set in, who's on my album? Bernie, George. Uh, how, f how far are you into it? Well, I'm really finished with it, but every day I keep coming up with a new song or somebody keep coming by. My son and them, they always come up with different beats and stuff, and I might hear it up from upstairs out of my bedroom, and I'll run downstairs and try to get the song. You know, they don't give me all the songs. They only you, the did you save a spot for me? Oh, you know, oh, wait a minute, Ron Kent, I'll tell you what, I, I'll tell you what's on there. Uh, the song that we did uh, in the hotel room on the, um, uh, uh, I might want to get down, I might want to get down. And you were playing the bass, but you detuned the, uh, Eric's acoustic guitar. Right. Yeah, that's on there. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Well, I forgot to tell you because you came up missing in action. That's the story of my life. No, no. I just heard I got a song on Rick James' new album, and nobody told me anything about it it's supposed to be coming out. Well, see, they ain't going to never tell you nothing. <laughs> but, but then you got to look at it like this, bro. You done done so many different things. You did, what, uh, the, the barges and them? I mean, you, you try to keep your thing on the down low, you know, but uh, everybody know who you are, you know. Ron Cat is, uh, um, I would say, my ace. Now that's that's real talk. There, yeah. You are, you yeah. are, you know, Good because boys. I depend on you, man. Yeah. Likewise, and, likewise. You know, you push us, you push me, you push George. He pushes us. That is very true. Gary inspires us, keeps us going. Yeah, we got to keep going, man. Like my, like I said, my voice is hoarse because we were singing last night. Hey, Pete, I was just checking. That's brother Danny right there. It's brother Danny. Yeah. He's playing out. What's up? How's it going out there? Hey, I'm Danny Bedrosian. I play keys for Power with Funkadelic. Talk about your album, man. You on, oh, yeah. you on uh, character disorder or something like that? Yeah, I, uh, executive producer, right. character disorder uh, by Jerome Rogers. Yeah. Just came out. Uh, and I got a new one out coming in June called Something Fierce. Okay. That's a solo record. I'm going to have Gary Scheider, Jerome Rogers, Lige Curry, Clip Payne, a few other people. Boy, glad to know. Definitely be looking out for that. Yes, 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 yes indeed. Yes, indeed. That's, that's Danny there. Can y'all excuse me for a minute? I got to go with the old lesson. All right. We'll be coming right back at you. Uh, this is Cat Delic Radio Podcast. Stay tuned. <laughs>